And a very good morning to you. I greet you in Jesus' name. It is Tuesday morning, the 12th of July, the year 2022. And this is your friend, Angus Bucken, with a thought for the day. The Gospel of Mark, chapter 8 and verse 34. Jesus said, Whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. And then we go straight to the book of Acts, Acts chapter 9 and 1 verse, verse 16. Jesus said, For I will show him, that's Paul, how many things he must suffer for my name's sake. Who said it was going to be easy being a follower of Jesus Christ? No, not at all. Who is your biggest enemy? Who is my biggest enemy? It's not the devil. No, no, no. He's a defeated foe. I tell you who our biggest enemy is, is ourselves. And one ugly thing that I always see, and it, it really saddens me, is self-preservation. I'm all right, Jack. As long as everything's going well for me, I don't mind. It is such an ugly thing, isn't it? Do you remember that epic movie called The Titanic? That mighty ship which they said could never sink. And on its maiden voyage, it sank in a matter of minutes down to the bottom of the icy Atlantic Ocean. And we hear countless stories of brave people who denied themselves, men who were safely seated in a lifeboat with their life jackets on, with their wives and children, getting out of the boat again before it was lowered into the sea and giving their life jacket and their place in the lifeboat to some child or some old lady. Those are the stories that stir my soul. One of my heroes is a young American evangelist by the name of Jim Elliott. We know him well, that missionary who gave his life up for the lost. He was murdered by Indians in the jungle at a mere age of 29 years old. Left behind him a young wife and a baby daughter. But you know what he said? He said, he is no fool who gives what he cannot keep to gain that which he cannot lose. And I want to say to you today, we need to take into consideration, there's Paul. The Lord said he's going to suffer, and he did. He suffered more than all the apostles. But what could he say towards the end of his life? In Philippians chapter 1, verse 21, he said, For me to live is Christ, and to die is but gain. You cannot frighten a Christian with heaven. <laughs> If we live, we live with Jesus. If we die, we go home to be with Jesus. It is a win-win situation. Today, remember, it's all about Him, and He will see us through. God bless you, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.